Okay, so here we have a, a quick mock-up of a 3D toolpath generation for CNC milling 3D objects. Um, we've started with a cylinder shaped like this, and then the end output is a series of contours, which you see here on top, that enables us to use the CNC milling bit to create this three-dimensional shape. So you can see the contours in green and the original object in red. And if I now create a higher resolution sampling distance, you will see that uh, no, this step or distance, I mean, we will have a finer, finer result because there will be a shorter distance between the two paths. Um, so the first thing we do once we get um, on the DD button. So we take a cylinder, a boundary representation in this case, and then we get a bounding box, which is a box based on the outer dimensions of the object. And then we decompose that box and subtract uh, various items. The most important is this uh, line here in the end. And from this, we get a series of points. Then we create an array of points of uh, actually a lines and then array of lines and then the important part is this array of lines we intersect with our object the ones we want, when we want to treat print in this case the cylinder and then the result is this so we get a series of points in three-dimensional space and then we select only the top points because we don't we cannot mill through the material we can only work from one side with with a three axis tool and then once we have these points we create lines from uh, interpolating the points so now we can see the contours of the shape and then we also make sure that lines run all the way down to the floor uh, which the bottom we get from the lowest point in the bounding box of the object and then we create a safe seep, a safe set uh, toolpath, which means that there's going to be a transition between the cuts and we want to make sure that that transition is higher than the object so that when we go from one part of the toolpath to the other, the bit won't transcend through the object. And then we create one unified line. In this case, it looks like this, both the contours and the transition cuts. Then we take all the coordinates of these lines and we create a, a text string, a coordinates, and then we weave in between the text string, we have a M3. So uh, M3 is just a string, the, uh, the letter and the number. And we weave that between the coordinates. So we see here you get a list, for instance, M3, and then comma, and then the first coordinate is X uh, minus 19, and then comma, Y coordinate minus 4, comma, Z coordinate, 34.2 and then all this, uh, the, these lists of uh, of coordinates are uh, output into one code in this case shop out code for our milling machine so m3 is how the, the the control unit of the machine knows it's supposed to move along three axes and then there's a, a little bit of information in the beginning and the end so first we have sa which is to to set absolute distances, not relative distances. Then we have SO, which is set output, 1, 1, which means output 1 is the spindle, turn it on. And then we have TR, and then you see spindle speed as a slider, 18,000. This week on we can change to whatever spin speed we want. And then uh, jog set, which is the, the safe set, means uh, in this case 6 millimeters above uh, 0 Z. And then, uh, and then uh, we have jog three axes to the first point of our uh, toolpath, this uh, slice we just created, and then the move speed. And then you see that's two numbers. The first one, 25, is the XY move speed, and then the second one is 15. And the reason that's two different speeds is usually milling bits are made to cut sideways through material, not into material like a drill. So we don't want to move as fast into the material as we move sideways through the material. 
And then basically all of these uh, codes numbers become one file and we weave them in the correct order. And the end of the, the end of the line also, it has uh, a jog to safe height, turn off the spindle and jog home. And then it's simply a matter of uh, choosing a destination, stream, uh, stream destination, and then saying stream contents to, to save the file. That's it. That's how we go from uh, 3D object to coordinates machine, to machine coordinates to cat our object.